Hey everyone, so I want to talk a little bit about course management today. So I've got a hole out here where I've got a bunker on the right, bunker on the left. The left bunker comes into play definitely more so than the right one. I can carry that one on the right, but the fairway really pinches in up there. So how do you decide where to aim so that we give ourselves the best chance at our next shot? So just like chess in golf, we always wanna be thinking about our next move so that we can be giving ourselves the best opportunity to shoot a low score. So on a shot like this, if I'm a little uncomfortable, what I might do is actually just grip down a little bit on my driver, and I'm actually just gonna hit a draw off of the left edge of that right bunker. So that might be a little advanced for you if you're not sure how to curve the ball one way or the other. But if you cannot curve the golf ball, what you can do is just kind of hit straight over the middle right side of the fairway. You can take a shorter club if that's more comfortable for you. Something that's just gonna get you in the fairway so that you can have a good second shot. Okay, so now I'm at my tee ball. I've got about 65 yards to this pin. It's really up close to the front edge of the green and I've got some big bunkers on either side. So this green slopes off to the right. So if I hit this shot to the right of the pin, it could spin off the right edge of the green. Um, there's a ton of green to the left and behind the flag. So my goal is gonna be to get the ball to carry past the flag so that I make sure that I give myself a chance for a birdie putt. The other question that I get from people in this situation is, okay, 65 yards is not a full swing for most people. So how do you figure out what to do from here? So for me, I have a system in place so that I know with my three different wedges, I have um, four different distances to five different distances with each wedge, just based on swinging from knee to knee, hip to hip, waist to waist, shoulder to shoulder, and full swing. So for this shot, I'm gonna use my 54 degree wedge. I'm gonna take about waist to waist, maybe a little bit more, and I'm gonna carry the ball past the flag. So I'm actually looking to carry the ball 65 or 70 yards and maybe it'll spin a little bit and stop. And I'm gonna aim just a hair to the left of the flag, again, making sure that it's not gonna spin off that right side of the green. So I'm visualizing my shot. I'm gonna hit kind of a higher wedge shot that's gonna spin and hopefully stop kind of quickly. Left of the pin. All right, pretty good. So I've left myself maybe eight or 10 feet to the right of the pin there, and I've got a nice shot at birdie. So what I want you to understand as you're going out on the golf course and playing is what you should be thinking about as you approach each of these shots. As you play more, and I've played a lot of tournament golf, so I automatically am going through all this information in my head, right, the wind, where I wanna hit the ball, where I wanna leave the ball. You don't have to be so perfect, but I want you to think through, you know, do I wanna aim left of the pin or right of the pin? Do I wanna be long or short in terms of my club selection? You know, when on this pin here, there's probably 20 to 30 feet of green behind the flag. So hitting something behind the flag is okay here. We don't have to be so perfect all the time. So again, I just want you to understand how you should be thinking through your shots on the golf course so that when you get out here, you can actually set yourself up for success and hopefully start to shoot some lower scores.